I'm Daniel. I'm Justin. And you're watching Gear 65 episode number 40, part 2, uh, where we are taking a look at the HTC Hero. If you missed part 1, be sure to click this button right here to go back to part 1, so you can find out more about the hardware and the design of the HTC Hero. Yeah, so, um, you know, that, that is uh, pretty much the design, and um, I mean, personally I like it. I like this design, yeah, so, but it's of course, it's, this kind of stuff is all... Uh, so it's up to you. So uh, let's go back to the software. The most famous thing, of course, is this thing called, uh, they call it Sense, right? HTC Sense, which is uh, the whole concept of, uh, you know, really high. Um, if you can see, this is not a very typical Android screen. They have, you know, seven, seven, seven panels. panels, right? And then after, you know, you can actually really customize it, a, a lot of cool gadgets. And one of the very the things that you can actually see from uh, right right now is like the uh, menu button is actually replaced by the menu here, which is just a touch here instead yep. of a pull up, mm -hmm. and the phone and your edit, add, widget add, add widget button. Yeah, so the phone is right here, uh, which, which I think it's a really nice design actually. I mean, the HTC really really customized. Well, one, of, one of the things that HTC has always been really good at with their Windows Mobile phones is building a custom user interface to, to, to make it, to enhance the user interface to make it a lot more practical. And one of the things I feel is that this this uh, bottom area really makes uh, more, add, really really adds value to the HTC Hero because ultimately it is a phone. You really want the phone itself. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, and you know, I like normal Android, it's normally only 3, so this is 7, so it's a, a, lot, a huge enhancement. Um, they really, if you take a look, right, it's not your normal typical Android UI. You can see that it just changes, you know, nice HTC Chrome. I mean, in fact, right, let's see, I'm going to go out, right, I just want to show you this. You go to the clock, for example, right, so the beautiful uh, weather thing that that's HTC right. has always been good at. Okay, so you hit this. Um, so now you can see the you know the weather thing animation that, yeah, animation and that, that they are all very HTC has been well known for with their Windows mobile devices. And if you click on the clock, you see this familiar sliding thing which you see on their Windows mobile so touch, touch flow 3D, yeah. and which is really good. So they really enhance this. Um, does this go beyond this as well? The SMS and all that. Uh, yes, yes, it does. So, so yeah, they go all the way as well. You know, the SMSs as well. Uh, we're not going to open the messaging application because you know this. This is an actual and, phone. <laughs> yeah, this is an actual phone, so we're not going to show it to you. But you know, trust us when you say that. You know, it's got extended beyond yes. beyond just the number front page, which is what we really we are pretty impressed with. Uh, in fact, one thing that uh, I think Sense is all about is that they want to make it. You know, Touch Flow 3D has always been famous about their uh, the, the little stuff, right? Sense allows you to customize it. So over here you have a Twitter application. It's full screen, right? And it's called Pete. Yes. Yeah. So you know, uh, Twitter application to Twitter to people, and then you know, let's say here, right? I can actually add a widget, for example, and they have this thing called HTC widget. And they have a lot of widgets for you, uh, customized yeah. widgets specifically for the HTC Sense. So for example, take weather. Right? Okay. How about stocks? All right. So you see, right, they have a different one, you have a huge application, you have the small ones, you have an even smaller one if you want. Let's say, like, let me take the big one, okay, let me choose it. So what you have, you have a full screen widget, right, and a full screen widget, so this is almost like Touch Pro 3D, except that you can customize it yourself, right. and you know, and you can choose where you and, want it. And if you want to remove it, you just hold on to it. And you just slide it down to yeah. remove it. And this is another thing that I really like. Uh, let's add another widget again. Uh, let's add a sm uh, let's, you know, okay, calendar for example. And let's choose a small one. You see the big calendar. Yeah, you can have a full screen calendar. That's what I really like about the widgets. And you touch and pull, right? And uh, you can see where right, they actually give you grids. Yeah. And this is this is something the the added value to other than the uh, outside the Android because the Android you can it doesn't give you the grid. Normal Android you usually don't have this, so that's really really cool as well. That's so right. you know uh, the sense. The sense uh, system software right for for the Android is really really good. I, I, we are really very impressed with it. Um, you know, needless to say, uh, yeah, we're talking about it a lot. Yeah, and just like we did with uh, when the when we first looked at TouchFlow 3D, we're gonna focus. Uh, we focus a lot on this because this really makes this device very different from the rest. It makes it a lot more nicer to use. It, it is. It is. And I see it as a, a very good yeah. UI yes. uh, added value to uh, all. I mean. It differentiates the, this uh, HTC Android phone with from, from other rest, yeah. Android phones. Yeah, and you know we can actually see HTC probably like owning the market again, yes. just like they did with the uh, Windows Mobile phones. That's right. Yeah, so we, we really, really like that, right? And so this is the HTC keyboard, right? Uh, the, this, we talked about this keyboard back in the the, uh, the HTC Magic episode, and it's a really good keyboard. We really like it. Um, you know, it's it's pretty smart, and uh, it feels very iPhone-ish. Um, I'm sorry, I'm comparing with the iPhone, but you know, it's just some a basis of comparison. That's it's right. a really good keyboard, and we, you know, we have to say we really like it. And replaces the default 
uh, Android keyboard. Sometimes it becomes really, really sluggish. So you can you can type faster than it can show. So after you know, it can it can show like a few like one second or two seconds later. So this is one of the things that I think HTC should try to optimize. Another thing is that when you when you you see the symbols on top of each button here, right? When you click on uh, this thing, right? It basically changes position. Yep. So this is one so of the things. So what we're like, for example, right? Let's say if you take a look here. Uh, let's see, let's get um, the question mark, right? For example, the question yeah. mark is above letter K. So what you would think is that if you push this, right, this will become the letter, the question mark key. Exactly. But instead, the question mark moves one key across. Yeah. So you know, it, it, it gets a little. It's a bit strange because after all, then you you lose the orientation of the keys, uh, uh, and then you exactly. It, it makes sense to be the same because you press it faster. That's right. Mm. But of course, of course, you know, if you want to actually just press and hold, it becomes a question but mark. It's but it's slower. But it's slower. So that's one of the, the strange things about the keyboard. Um, yeah, of course, Android is not perfect yet, so it's, it's still a bit sluggish, the device, uh, after like long amounts so, of use. So the reason for it being sluggish is if you install a lot, a lot of applications as you start using it, and because uh, some of the times the application just runs in the background, and it's part of what Android is, it's multitasking, right? Mm. The memory, I mean, your remaining memory becomes lesser and lesser, and it is it becomes a lot sluggish. Yeah. So this is one of the things that I am um, that Android needs to try to fix. Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, well, one more strange thing about this phone is that um, you know even though it has a proximity sensor right here, uh, when you make phone calls, right, when you pick up the phone and you talk to it, the screen doesn't turn off itself. Yeah, and it doesn't uh, just lock the phone. Uh, rather the, the lock the disable, disable touch the screen. touch screen. So you know you do accidentally press buttons sometimes. Um, For example, like you know end call <laughs> when you <laughs> when, yeah. So sometimes, you know, like when you're talking for the first few seconds before it actually locks the screen, you know, you, you, you can accidentally press the end call and you can like, you know, and hey? the call. Yeah. yeah, and you know I do why. So yeah, that's, that's one of the, 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 the strange things about this phone, yeah. But uh, otherwise this phone is actually, yep. uh, we, we like it, I mean, you know, we I, I really like guys, it. Yes. And, you know, bought buying the phone, so, you know, we, we do recommend it still. So that was the HTC Hero, uh, HTC's uh, Android device, the first phone with HTC Sense. Um, now, we did talk a little bit about some of the sluggishness and all that, but the advantage, the good thing, the good news is this. This is an Android phone, and uh, you know, it's very hackable. Yeah, right? and basically you can just uh, hack it and put a custom ROM, which is which is the hero wrong, yeah. which is optimized, and this is this is exactly what I did. He did that with his, his personal uh, hero phone, and it's, it become a lot more smoother. So and you can install a lot more applications without the sluggishness. Yeah, so you know, if you if you think that's very sluggish, but you like everything else about it, take note about you can actually do that. So you know, it's one of the things. Um, otherwise, you can just uh, email us if you have any questions. Gear sixty five at tech sixty five dot org. That's our email address. Triple W tech sixty five dot org. All our past episodes for all our shows are available there. Right, and uh, that's it. I'm Daniel. I'm Justin. And we will see you guys very soon.